Let's talk football and security. It's got the makings of a spy movie. Undercover officers, giant x-ray machines, bomb squad robots, and emergency response aircraft, all part of an incredibly elaborate security apparatus designed to protect a colossal event, the Super Bowl in Indianapolis this Sunday, where tens of thousands of fans are already gathering. Here's ABC's senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas. <laughs> It's a week-long party on the streets of Indianapolis. And on this night, Kevin Stickford and his dog Sonia are not the only ones looking for trouble. Kevin and Sonia are among the very few who are not here to party. They are members of a special unit called a hit team. It may look random, but the leader of the team is very precise in what he's looking for. I noticed when you were coming down through here, you were very targeted in some of the things you were doing. Trash cans, um, bins. Yes, we are always checking the trash cans, uh, newspaper boxes, if there are vehicles other than police cars parked down through here, stage areas. She is trained uh, to detect explosives mm -hmm. only. In other words, they're looking for the signs of the lethal combination law enforcement fears most this week. A crowd, a bad guy, and a bomb. What happens if you have crime or a significant incident in the midst of three, four, five thousand people? How do you deal with that? They are among the teams from multiple agencies. The FBI, local police, and the military roaming the streets tonight, sweeping for explosives, biological and chemical weapons, even nuclear ones. All this work despite the fact that as police admit, right now there is no specific credible threat that any of these things will happen. Some people might say, why do this? Nothing's going to happen. Nothing ever does. But did 9-11 teach us that you can't assume that? Absolutely. You have to be prepared for the unexpected. We always have to be on our game 100% of the time. While we're out there. Eric Rimbo's team from Customs and Border Protection will be circling the stadium in a chopper and airplanes all through the game, along with Air Force F-16s. They're taking the threat from the air seriously because during every Super Bowl since 2005, at least one aircraft has entered the no-fly zone set up to protect the game. Rimbo's team took us up for a training exercise yesterday. Check that tip all lit up. An unidentified aircraft has invaded the no-fly zone. Here we have a visual on the target. He's off to our left side about uh, 10.30 or so. Go ahead and put the uh, sign up in the window. Our helicopter puts up a sign to tell the pilot what radio frequency to dial in order to communicate. We have contact with the aircraft. In this case, the plane follows the pilot's command to head to a nearby airport and land. And the earlier we intercept them, the earlier we identify them and try to make contact with them, the earlier this can all get resolved. Down below, simple old-fashioned street crime is what could ruin a fan Super Bowl experience. Muggers, pickpockets, thugs. On this night, police are out in force. Some you see, others hidden in the crowd. You never know that man or woman standing next to you might be an undercover cop. Argument is pretty much on ground zero. We met an undercover officer in a stairwell and were allowed to talk to him after agreeing to alter his voice and not show his face. What you have is, is, is a meat market for, <laughs> for someone who wants to do crime. Your pickpocketers, your uh, stick up men and things like that. We go looking for those people. Off the street and in the shadows, the oldest profession is under attack. We have people coming in and spending $10,000, $20,000 on the event. Uh, unfortunately, that tends to bring um, prostitution to these kind of events, typically a lot of escort services. Teresa Flores was a victim of sex trafficking as a teenager. And he auctioned me off over and over again until I literally passed out. She and a cadre of volunteers are trying to alert local hotels to the signs of human trafficking. I don't want another young girl to have to go through that, to have to lay in that bed and watch a, another stranger come in. It's horrible. By Sunday, all the attention will be here, Lucas Oil Stadium. 70,000 people will fill the stands. Another 140,000 will line the streets, a rich target for terrorists and common criminals alike. For that reason, police are using the most technology ever to protect the Super Bowl. Giant x-ray machines scan every vehicle arriving at the stadium. Robots stand ready to disarm bombs. Cameras watch every nook and cranny. Surveillance cameras deployed at every angle will allow police to see everything going on inside the stadium, but also outside as well. 
The video is streamed into command centers throughout the area that would have to respond. It's really, really important to get ahead of these things and, and, and to actually prevent them before they occur. Prepare for the worst, expect the best. That's how law enforcement hopes to win. For Nightline, Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Indianapolis.